been a beautiful Saturday afternoon at Giant Stadium on the line, the North Jersey Section 1 Group 2 state title. Okay, second play from scrimmage for Walk Hill Valley. Quarterback Lou Finnamore finds a wide open Dougie Talmadge. He's going to rumble in for a touchdown. That is a 73-yard pass play. Make it 7-0 Walk Hill Valley. Second play of the game. Oh, boy. Walk Hill Valley on the move again. Lou Finnamore back to pass. He finds Brian Schneider, and he's into Lenape Valley territory. Here come the Rangers on the move again. Walk Hill Valley had their running game in gear. Kevin Coger barrels up the middle right here for the Rangers. And Finnamore, that fine quarterback, avoids a sack. And he will rumble to the Lenape Valley 15-yard line. He shows how mobile he is. Here come those Walk Hill Valley Rangers. Finnamore goes on the score, 14-0. Walk Hill Valley still in the first quarter. Okay, Lenape Valley looks to get something going right here, but they fumble. Dougie Talmadge picks it up. He's going to rumble 43 yards for a touchdown. And suddenly it's 19-0. Walk Hill Valley over Lenape Valley. Oh, boy. Walk Hill Valley came to play. Look at the hit by Chris Gini. Oh, that hurt. Finnamore avoids the pressure right here and finds Brian Schneider inside the Patriot 40-yard line. Here come those Walk Hill Valley Rangers. Third down play, looking for the home run ball. Finnamore back to pass. He's looking for Dougie Talmadge. He overthrew him. Okay, they're forced to punt right here. On the fourth down play, Walk Hill Valley fakes the punt. Look at Jeff Garrity go. He picks up the first down. Good play calling by Coach Johnny Pugh. Walk Hill Valley had to settle for a field goal. It's up, it's good by Lou Finnamore, 37 yards. They lead in this game 22-0. Lenape Valley gets a big run right here by Mike Eckert. He rumbles 33 yards. Hey, the Patriots are looking to get something going. But that Walk Hill Valley defense comes up big on three straight plays. They just held Lenape Valley in check all afternoon. They have a number one defense in the SCIL, and you can see why right there. Lou Finnamore tries a shovel pass right here for Walk Hill Valley, but Danny Pearson picks it off for Lenape. And here come the Patriots. Matt Bizarro makes a big run for Lenape Valley, all the way down to the Walk Hill Valley 12-yard line. 29-yard gain on that play. But once again, that Walk Hill Valley defense comes up big, sacking Lenape Valley quarterback Mike Grant, who had a tough day because the defensive pressure was in his face all day. Walk Hill Valley forced a punt. Tom Mendel calls for a fair catch. He is hit right there. Hey, that's a penalty. And Mike Grant tries to rally his team right here. He completes the pass. The Patriots look to get something going. And here they come on the move right now. And again, Grant completes the pass to Matt Pizarro. He picks up the first down for Lenape Valley. They have to go to the air because they're running out of time. On the reverse right here, look at Matt Pizarro go. Matt Pizarro is going to score the touchdown for Lenape Valley. He's in the end zone right there. Wait a minute. Flag on the play, holding no touchdown. Poor Mike Grant had that Ranger defense in his face all day. He did have some good moments in his football game. He completes a pass right here to his brother Andy, trying to rally his team to get a touchdown. And Grant's a fine quarterback. He had a good season for Lenape Valley. And again, he completes a pass because he has to go to the air because they want to get a touchdown before the clock runs out. But the Walk Hill Valley defense would not let them do that. They win this football game by a score of 22 to nothing. Right off the bat, the first series of the game, the big touchdown pass. Tell me how it set the tone for the game. Thanks. Uh, I guess we just, like, as soon as we scored, we just, I don't know, it, like, it just shut them down, you know. They lost confidence in themselves, and that's it, I guess, you know. First play, we were a little nervous because last last game, we uh, messed up that first play. So we just wanted to get a, get a good, run and pl uh, good run and play first, or a quick pass to Matt. But I was a little nervous through it in the ground. So. <laughs> then you come around, throw the ball out to Dougie in the flat, and he runs about 70 yards for a touchdown. How about that? Yeah, that, was, that wasn't a call. It was an audible because nobody lined up on Dougie. So we knew, we knew when nobody lines him up, you just throw the ball down the field, he'll run under and make a big play. Well, you know, Dougie's a big-time player. And uh, actually, that was an audible by Louis Finnamore. We had a different play called in, and he saw something in the secondary, checked off, and uh, executed. Underrated all year, your defense stepped it up another notch for the state playoffs? Well, I don't know if they're underrated or not. I think we opened up some eyes and uh, got some recognition that we deserved, uh, but you're certainly right. And again, your individual players stepped up. You talked about Doug Talmadge and Lou Fenimore, Chris Gini on defense especially, and Brian Snyder seemed a little bit banged up, but still played hard and got the team to win. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Kenny Farenfeld really played like a warrior. Number six, our, our right cornerback. He had been hurting all game long, uh, but he made some big plays for us. But you're right. Uh, 
We've got kids like that, but we don't look at it as one guy. We've been stressing the team concept all year, and that's what got us here. Uh, we worked hard at it all the last two weeks. We had two days to practice our defense, and that's what we were looking for going into the game. So we knew we could shut Mandel down. So we just came out, and we were flying to the ball, and that's all what it took. Any special plans, any adjustments that the defense made to go after Mendel today? Um, yeah, we had a few different changes that our coaches, they change every week. So, I mean, that helped us. Two shutouts in a row in two big state championship games. Your defense really stepped it up in the playoffs especially. Yeah, our defense was under-recognized in the beginning of the season. And now they came alive, people saw what they're about, and that's just something we shoot for. We, don't, we try not to let them get past the 50, and then once, if they get there, we just try and stop them, and that's what we do. I thought the defense was good all year long. We've been, we haven't let up more than 14 points in a game. We got like four shutouts or whatever. We just, we, we pride ourselves on our defense. Will you be back next year as coach? I'll be back next year to coach, but in a different capacity. Mike Van Zyl's the coach. He was, you know, this year, and he's going to be back as the head guy next year. There's going to be a lot of people asking for you to be the head coach after winning a state title in just one year. What do you think about that? Well, I think it's unfair. I think going in, uh, I made a statement that I was doing Mike a favor. I hope someday I get the chance to go watch my sons play. Uh, but Mike's the head coach. I'm going to assist him next year, and that's the way it's going to be.